वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज़ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ लॉट ऑफ नंबर एनालॉजी क्वेश्चन दिस इज़ वन टॉपिक विच इज़ अ पार्ट ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट ऑल दी एंट्रेंसेज ओके बट स्टिल स्टूडेंट्स गेट स्टक बिकॉज देर आर फ्यू थिंग्स विच यू नो यू गेट अ बिट कन्फ्यूज अबाउट ओके सो आई गो टू एड्रेस अ फ्यू ऑफ दोज कन्फ्यूजन्स टूडे सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव इज वॉट फोर इज टू ट्वेल्व सो नाउ प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड वेन यू हैव समथिंग लाइक दिस यू नीड टू फाइंड द रिलेशन बिटवीन वॉट फोर एंड ट्वेल्व नाउ वॉट एवर रिलेशन यू गेट ओवर यूर यू हैव टू अप्लाई द सेम रिलेशन बिटवीन फाइव एंड द नंबर नेक्स्ट आफ्टर अप्लाइंग दैट रिलेशन वॉट एवर आंसर यू गेट शुड बी अ पार्ट ऑफ योर ऑप्शन इन केस दैट इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ योर आंसर और दैट इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ योर ऑप्शन देन वॉट यू शुड डू इन सच अ केस इट यू शुड ट्राई एंड वर्क you should try and rework on your this particular relation so now let's look at this so 4 is to 12 i can say that what 4 into 3 gets me 12 right so basically 4 multiplied by number which is coming up before 4 so similarly for the next one i can do what 5 multiplied by number which is coming before 5 is nothing but what 4 Okay, so five into four, you get the answer as twenty, and that is your answer. Okay, students, if you liking the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Also, don't forget at the end I'm going to put up a DIY question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section. So uh, now we have to look at the next one, which is what eight is to twenty eight. So now I can say that eight into three. Plus four gets me twenty eight. So let's apply the same logic for twenty seven. So we'll try what twenty seven into three plus four. So now twenty seven into three is nothing but what eighty one. Eighty one plus four gets you eighty five. So option B is your answer for this particular question. Okay, students, for the there are like like last few couple of videos I've apply I've used this kind of a whiteboard. If you want me to go back to what I was doing, like using pen and paper, please let me know so in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll try to work more on the whiteboard. Okay, so now let's look at the next section. So here we have two one five is to ten. So now please understand this is a very big number. Okay, two one five and is to ten. So when you have something like this, it's be it becomes a bit confusing because two one five is not very close to any of the squares or prime numbers or something like that. So here, what we do is let's try and multiply all the digits two into one into five. You get the answer as ten. So similarly for three, we'll do or thirty five will do three into five. You get the answer as fifteen. So option B is your answer. So now. Let's look at this next one. We have what one is to thirty six. So now please understand. When I add one plus five, I get six, and six square gets me thirty six. So similarly, let's do two plus five. I get what seven, and then we should do seven square. So we get the answer as forty nine. So I hope now you all are getting the hang of it, and now you will be having a little bit of confidence in doing these kind of questions when it comes to your entrances. Okay. Now let's look at the next one. Okay, so now over here now there is one question which, in fact, this one. Okay, this question needs a little bit of understanding. Okay, so let's first look at the previous one. So we have again three is to twelve. So now this is like the first question which we solved. Three multiplied by one number ahead of three. So again five will be getting multiplied by what one number ahead of five. So that is six. so that is nothing but 30 so option c is your answer now see understand for the next one we have what 4 is to 9 is to 25 so now we have 2 square is to what 3 square then we have to find the relation between 5 square and what now lot of you all end up taking what 6 square and making answer marking answer a as your answer okay option a as your answer but in this case you will make a very grave mistake please understand you just getting the relation between the first two is not always your job you have to look at your overall series also so now if you have which is what 2 is to 3 then we have 5 is to what so now here you should not take 6 here you should take the 7 number why because the entire series is following prime numbers 
okay so now they are prime numbers so we no need to do what 7 square so option b is your answer for this one okay so please understand when you are solving these kind of questions you need to have very clear understanding of your prime number series odd even then you need to have a very clear understanding of your squares cubes etc but in today's video i have not covered squares and cubes that much so if you want to me to make another series on the similar one then please let me know so by typing a yes in the comment section okay so i will definitely work on the next video which includes a bit of difficult questions as well this is just an introductory part if you're getting the hang of these things then please let me know so i'll make another video of the same questions or same series okay now we are coming to the next one so we have what 25 is to 37 now please understand the first very clear cut uh, relation which we normally do is what you add 12 to 25 so then you should get what 37 so now if i do the same for 49 so if i add 12 to 49 so i get what 61 now problem is 61 is not a part of my answer so here let's try and look at some other kind of law, um, relation between 25 and 37. Now I know that 25 is what 5 square and this is what 37. Now 37 if this is in square let's try to write 37 in terms of square. So this can be written as what 6 square plus 1 correct. So basically the number which is coming after 5 we have taken the square of that and then we have added 1 to it. So similarly we have what 7 square which is 49 then what will be the next one will be what the number which is coming after 7 is what 8 square plus 1. So 8 square is getting you the answer as 64 plus 1 you get option D as your answer which is 65. Okay. So now let's look at the next one. So we have what 68 is to 130 then we have to find out what is to is equal to 350 so now this is one question i've just involved in this one um so now here we have what 68 and then 130 so this looks a very difficult kind of a relation how do you do this so here we will talk about we will talk about cubes okay so now 68 is nothing but can i say what four cube plus four gets me 68 because four cube is 64 plus four gets you 68 so similarly five cube plus 5 will get me what 130 because 5 cube is 125 plus 5 will get you 130 now we have 350 so 350 is what 7 cube plus 7 right we have 7 cube is 343 plus 7 gets you 350 now we need to look at this particular value okay so this we are going to look at this relation between 5 and 4 so i can say that if 4 is one number below 5 so here also we'll look at one number below six or uh, below seven, which is what six cube plus six. So six cube is what two one six plus six gets you two two two. So option B is your answer. Okay. So now coming to your DIY, I want you to tell me if three zero two is to six, then. 415 is to what? Okay, so do let me know your answers in the comment section. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.